because I don't know exactly where we have this function. I'm going to search for it. So the process, the procedure that we want to run today is intake port suiting. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan and in this video we are going to check the state of our intake using one of the procedures from InstaDeep. It's something that approximates the airflow, the mass of air that should be going in your engine and it compares it with the actual value, the one that is read from the mass airflow. And should there be a big difference between these two values, we can reach the conclusion that the intake has quite a lot of carbon buildup. So we are going to run this process, this procedure in InstaD and it should give us a rough idea of how the intake looks like or how bad the carbon buildup is on your car. For this specific car, when I bought it at 106,000 miles, I've done the cleaning. Now we have 122,000 and I'm not expecting it to have a big carbon buildup, so our values should be very good values. Later on, I will compare these values with someone else's car. That should be in a far worse condition. Now, we go to the car and we're going to run the procedure. By doing this, we can also have a good opportunity to listen to the note of the exhaust. As I have shown you in the clip, the process is intake port suiting. We can search for it in that search box. We make sure that the requirements are fulfilled. This is how the exhaust sounds at 2500 RPM. This is the first part of the test when it's checking the engine speed. We can see how the graph looks like, the diagnostic software. And you can read more about it in the descriptions. Now, we will go for the part that is really important for us. This function check is finished. Did their mass have a high difference? Yes or no? In our case, no. But let's see if I hit back. Yeah, so it allows me to take a look at these ones. And also underneath, I can see the description of these lines that we have on display. You might be able to tell that the sound of the exhaust is a little bit different. There is a very good reason for it to be like this, but it's a top secret reason. Also in this procedure, it will test the condition of our swirl flaps. But this is something that is not useful for me because I removed the swirl flaps. So it's not the important part. So this was part of 
the way that you can check the condition of your intake using the diagnostic software and also this was a short test of how your exhaust will sound like if you use a downpipe I hope that this video helps if I forget something or if you have ideas for future videos let me know in the comments below and I shall see you in the next one